I've been thinking about upgrading to the new 3.0 version for a little bit now, and not gonna lie, I've been pretty nervous about it, a little bit hesitant, because I, I just don't wanna go through the pain of learning a whole new workflow after I just spent so much time learning the old workflow, but I figure I might as well just rip it off like a Band-Aid and just, just start learning, so. I thought I'd make a little video on how to set up the new 3.0 version on your MPC. Um, I have an MPC One Plus, so it should be pretty much the same for most of them though. So, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so we, we're gonna go into our in music profile. So just pull that up and sign in and then you should see an MPC3 beta in your registered pro products here so click on this and yeah just a heads up this is the first time I've ever done this so I might be stumbling around a little bit so so we'll go to download. Um, I have a PC, so we'll click on that. Uh, it's just downloading up here, so it looks like it takes a little while. Not too long, a few seconds, so. Okay, open, so we'll open the file here. So I guess we'll just, uh, here we go. We'll click update MPC. MPC is not detected. Put the device in update mode and connect it to this computer via USB. Okay, so we will do that. I don't have a uh, USB stick or anything like that on me right now. So I'm gonna just do it the direct way. Okay, so we got everything hooked up. So let's try this again here. Put the device in update mode and connect it to this computer via USB. Uh, open preferences and switch to update mode from the info tab. Go to preferences. Okay, so we went to preferences, we're at info tab up here, and then we'll go to update mode. So we'll go to switch to update mode. Okay, are you sure you want to restart your MPC in update mode? You must download a firmware update from a Kai Professional website before you can update this unit. So we already up or downloaded that in the InMusic profile, so hit update. Okay, you got to hit, once you're in update mode, then go back up here and then you can hit update. All right, we'll click done. And... So it looks like we're, you know, starting fresh for the most part. It looks like all my old projects are saved in here. We'll see if they uh, work properly on the new version here. But, um, okay, let's go to new project. And there you go. 
looks like we have the whole new version. It looks completely different. Okay, so I think uh, the last step here is to make sure that you activate the beta version, the 3.0 beta version. So we'll go to back to preferences and then activations. And we'll scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see MPC3 beta. So activate. There we go. So we should be good to go. We're all good. Cool. Okay, so also one more thing I noticed here is if, if you upgrade to the new version, it's not the end of the world. You can go back to preferences and then go to info and you'll see the spot here says downgrade. So it looks like you can go back to the old version. It's not the end of the world, but I figure I'm, I'm just going to go for it and see how it goes with the new version. Um, looks like I'll, you know, it looks quite a bit different. So I'll have, uh, I'll have my work cut out for me with, you know, trying to figure this out and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to make new videos on anything I come across to maybe help you guys um, lessen the learning curve. But yeah, and if you think any tips or anything else, you know, put it in the comments below and uh, let me know what you think of the new version. Like, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, let me know what it is you like or don't like and appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Bye.